Hey, it's me, JJW, and we got a car video. Uh, my kids are napping, and I don't want to go inside the house yet because I'll wake them up if I'm too noisy. And uh, okay, so let's talk about a uh, gifting event just ended earlier today. So for the last uh, two weeks or so, um, the Contest of Champions has had the annual gifting event. Uh, if you gave a greater gifting crystal, you could get 3,000 points towards your alliance and your personal milestones. And, uh, okay, so that was the gifting event. And there was all kinds of great loot in there. So you could get like um, six star shards and uh, T5 catalyst stuff. And uh, I got, I even, well, I, I got my pull here in a second. I'm gonna talk about but I want to talk about what we did on the UMCOC Discord server. So the, when this event started, I set up a special gifting channel and I restricted gifting negotiations on the UMCOC channel to only include users that had been on the Discord server for more than 14 days. And I set up a network of trusted traders so here's the way it would it worked and i'm telling you now but I'm not, i didn't announce it when we did it um other than if you happen to be there uh but so this is what this is what we did on discord obviously the most dangerous thing to do is to trade with a stranger because you have uh, a very high non-zero probability that you are going to send somebody a trade and they do not return your gift that uh so gift scamming wild all over the place global chat in game nuts that's crazy if you agreed to any of that that was crazy so here's what we did on the umcoc server uh i set up a special special channel i prohibited all trades elsewhere on the server other than in the gifting channel and uh if anyone was caught scamming or reported scamming i gave them a a, a little bit of time to prove to counter prove but basically i just banned a bunch of people for scams and so scams pretty much died in the first 24 hours of the gifting event. Anyone that completed a successful trade with a safe gifting user would could be nominated to acquire the safe gifting user role. So I started with a seed of one trusted reliable user and then that reliable user did however many trades he or she did and nominated other good traders based on his or her experience and if they nominated another user I elevated the other users into the safe trader group so we basically created a network of a, 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 a circle a network circle of trust of highly reliable traders and then anyone else on the server who wanted, who was allowed to trade, if they traded with a um, gifted trader or, or, or a trusted trader, the lower ranking or less trusted person would trade first, and then the gifted trader would return trades, and we basically established a trust network. Uh, we rooted out some scammers pretty early, and in and, and, and even found one that uh, shouldn't have been yellowed and got yellowed and then got unyellowed and then got banned. So, uh, discord.gg slash UMCOC, the UMCOC Discord server, was probably the safest place to make gifting exchanges with strangers. So, we'll do that again in 2022. So, that was what we did. Uh, that has now been shut down, uh, and I'm so, uh, now I want to talk about my own uh, experience. Um, I have a, you could definitely call it a retirement alliance. We don't do any AQ. We don't do any AW. It's basically just a couple of friends of me and, of mine. And we're still in the game, but we don't care about alliance anything. And we just hang out in the same area. We gifted a little bit. I did not make all my milestones. But I did a lot of arena, got a bunch of units, and I got almost all the way there. So, uh, so I had a pretty good experience. One of my first crystals, that uh, first gifting crystal results was a greater gifting crystal with a uh, with fifteen thousand six star shards. And then I was like, oh, let's do this. 
So I did a bunch of gifting crystals, as much as almost as many as I could, and did not make my milestones, but I didn't have that um, same experience again where I got uh, a bunch of six star crystals. So, but I was highly motivated to just do as much as I could. So for a week or so, I did arena, which, poof, that is not fun. Uh, and I got almost there, almost all the way there. So for the last three crystals that I got, I got from, just like most of you got, uh, the last three that I got were from the calendar at the end of the event, and I got three greater gifting crystals. And uh, I opened all three of those at the same time, and I got another 16, you know, 15,000 six-star shards, and I pulled a six-star Nexus crystal. So, uh... I got this last night. I haven't uh, op opened it yet because uh, I was thinking, like, what's the way that I should do this? Should I open one? Should I open the other first? I think what I'm going to do is pull a uh, a six-star basic hero, and then we will also then do the um, uh, six-star nexus. So before I do either of those things, I'm just gonna show you my six star roster so you see what I'm working with uh, before I start. So my existing six star roster includes a rank two Professor X and a rank two Darkhawk. And I also have rank one Storm X, Spider-Ham that I actually like quite a bit, Mr. Fantastic, Night Thrasher, Yellow Jacket, Nightcrawler, Mole Man is actually all right. Uh, Domino, whatever, Captain Marvel, Star-Lord, obviously you need a dupe on Star-Lord. We got Squirrel Girl, who's terrible, I don't like her. Uh, Green Goblin, I just don't like her model. Uh, Green Goblin, Nova, Spider-Man, Symbiote Spider-Man, uh, and uh, uh, Doctor Strange. So that's my, that's my cast of characters. Very likely I'll just get a couple of new champions, but I might get a dupe, and that would be very good for me. So... Let's go over to the uh, crystals. So I think this is my this is my strategy. Uh, I think my strategy is open a basic six star crystal, see what I get, and based on what I get and my entire pool of six star champions, I'll then open the nexus and we'll see if the nexus gives me an opportunity to dupe something or just give me like a totally awesome champ maybe or I could get three you know bombs who knows so let's do a I'm tempted to do a feature but uh, honestly I don't like most of these I don't like most of these yeah uh, so we're gonna do a, uh, a six star basic so here we go let's take a six star six star basic I hope I'm recording audio and uh, we'll let it spin for a second no idea. I have no idea if I'm recording. Oh. Oh. Oh, that is one hairy mess. I don't want a Sasquatch. He does have a furry dongle do. Uh, I don't. I did not want that. Okay. Well, there we go. Uh, so, now let's go over to the main event and check out this six star nexus crystal uh what do, we, what do you do you don't you don't even need to do that you just there's no point in spending that that's not fun oh that is not good that's not good obviously captain mrs marvel whatever don't want that uh Cull Obsidian or Joe Fix It. Wow. Wow. I don't even know what I should pick. I don't know what I should pick. Joe Fix It recently got a revamp and supposedly is maybe a little bit better. Cull Obsidian. Uh, I just, I'm not familiar with either of these characters. I think I'll pause and I'll go ask somebody. I'll come back and we'll see what we, we'll see what we pick. So let me pause. Okay, we're over here on the UMCOC server, and then you can see there, I took a screenshot of my pics, and I flipped over here, I posted it, and I said, uh, anybody but Jam. 
So I want advice from anybody but Jam. And my results are, it's just Dan said Joe, Vim said Joe, Jam said Bruh. Uh, Fix It just got buffed, it's a pretty good buff. Jam's complaining about why I said anybody but him. Uh, call is cool, but what? Uh, but Fix It is OP. Okay, Jam got violated. <laughs> Uh, okay, it looks like, uh, it looks like the minor consensus is fix it. And, okay, we got a bunch of junky messages. Okay, so let's go back to the game. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Still recording? Uh, we're going back in. Alright, so we're going to pick fix it. Which I, honestly, oh, what a tough, what a tough, tough, tough choice there. So we'll go pick fix it. And then I got one more thing to open. I'm gonna open a feature five. I think I picked up earlier today from the Sigil store. Okay, back in here. Sorry for the delay. All right, Joe fix it, it is. It's got a nice suit, respectable fella. Okay, there it is. We got the, we got the Joe fix it, and uh, I think I got a, a four, three, four. I thought I had a feature five in here somewhere. There it is, right there. Feature five star. Uh, the only thing I really want to get out of this is a dupe for my uh, OG Scarlet Witch. Well, I don't know if we'll see that or not, but uh, this is from the Sigil Store. If you're not already uh, using the Sigil Store, um, I think it's a pretty good value, I guess. Uh, uh, if you are uncollected or Cavalier, pr preferably either one of those, it's good. If you're not that yet, then I wouldn't even do it. And I don't spend my own money on the Sigil Store. I only spend Google's money on, or yeah, Google's money on the Sigil Store. Hey, I got Old Man Logan. I'm not upset about that. I wanted to get an Old Man Logan. That's good. Okay, I'm I'm, I'm happy with that. Okay, all right. So, so we got. Uh, I I already forgot what we got a minute ago. It was uh, uh, some terrible, some terrible trash and a uh, Old Man Logan, which I'm happy about, and Joe Fix It, which I'm all right. I'm happy about, I guess. So, uh, let's see these two and a level up so oh oh yeah we got a sasquatch got a, a joe fix it a sasquatch and a dark uh, and a um old, old man logan joe fix it sasquatch uh i'd say that's pretty good uh if you're not already um a sigil user i like the sigil store because you get pretty good uh you get a good pretty good deal every week on uh trading in some some stuff you get a little bit of a discount on a feature five if you can get that many shards and I don't use my own money and you shouldn't use your own money I use get upside so I'll put a link in the description of this video if you don't already use get upside here's what you do download the app use my code you get like uh, a discount anytime you buy gas you're already gonna buy gas open up get upside claim the local deal pay the same or better than you were gonna pay and you get uh, one five ten fifteen cents back on a gallon of gas so it stacks up pretty quickly and I've already gotten like over hundred and fifty dollars back and I've used my cash my cash back from get upside to buy the sigil store sigil you know ten dollar sigil deal every month for like six months uh, and I'm about to get uh, that Scarlet Witch. So there's my wife, and now I've got to go and uh, wake up my kids. Uh, thanks for watching this video. Check out the link below. Get the get get upside. Get a free sigil for mm, ever. And uh, we'll talk to you later. I'm JJW. Bye everybody.